Friday, everyone. It's Dixie Silver Girl, and I am here in the shop with the miner. Absolutely. Everyone, take time this weekend. And thank you from both of us to everyone that has served or is serving. We absolutely appreciate it. Well, we're just hanging out in the shop tonight. The miner's working on some parts and pieces for a few new projects. And we thought we would take a minute and uh, share with everybody a up-close look at the auction knife that has just gone. The auction has just gone live. Hey, Slacker! Welcome, welcome. This is absolutely beautiful. The handle is wrapped in 3-9 fine silver and then he has toned it. And the blade itself is out of sterling and it just fits in your hand really nice. Hey corn dog. Hope everything is going well with you guys this evening. Oh, thank you, Slacker. Well, someone on Monday will be the high bidder and get to have us send the knife off to them now that the auction is live. You can follow it here on Instagram. We'll be giving updates on our other social media sites. And uh, if you don't have an Instagram, you can email us a bid. Doesn't have any pores going this evening. He's in the middle of projects. So I thought I'd show everybody him in action with the rolling machine. Rolling, rolling, rolling. He's been pretty busy here working on the material pieces. And he's got a couple of new projects on the bench. Can I show them your pieces over there? These are, uh, he's working on a bracelet, he says. I'm very excited to see where that's going. And that, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you what he's working on. You guys are going to have to figure it out as he pulls the pieces together. So that one's a lot of fun. So what does everybody have planned for the holiday weekend? Anything exciting going on? We're going to do a little uh, grilling and enjoying the outdoors, working in the garden. You see, that's how the uh, handle was made, with rivet, uh, real thin wires, uh, pulled out, rolled out twisted together and rolled into each other to make like a cable and then wrapped and flattened. Very cool. Uh, Porn Dog said he's not doing a thing this weekend. <laughs> Captain K had his last day of school today. So summer is a uh, Definitely on the kickoff this weekend. All kinds of fun stuff he's got going on in here. Hello, Volcano Stacks. Welcome, welcome. Just hanging out in the shop this evening. Thought we'd give everyone a peek at the knife that has just gone up for auction. Yes, it is beautiful. You can feel real badass opening letters with a letter opener like that. Like I said, this was just a hello and hang out for a little bit because he is uh, 
not at a spot to pour. That's kind of why we stopped doing the regular shows. His work schedule has changed and we just, he doesn't have all the time to set up for the pours. It takes a long time to get each of those molds ready. Get it poured on this weekend. Oh, well, thank you, Volcano Stacks. He said he's already got an opening bid in. And thanks. He said we have a cool shop, too. Thank Is this you, your sir. first visit to our shop, Volcano Stacks? So we love to have new visitors at our shop. He's been working very hard. You see he got his hammers, but he made the hangers for the hammers before he put them up. He's always out here working on something. And uh, he's got some projects that he is getting some material ready. These were all small, flat squares, or rectangles actually, that he poured. And he has been slowly stretching them. There's some copper and some brass. That's some silver rod, and I believe now you're working on some, is this 3.9 wire also? This is 9.25 in brass. Oh, fun. He uses all the different metals. It's a great way to make a neat art piece. You can make some of the larger pieces by uh, using some contrasting metals like copper and brass. He's even working on... Most of those pieces are going to become part of this owl when he is done. And this is aluminum. It's his first uh, time working with aluminum, but it's very pretty. Some more pieces that he had rolled out with his rolling machine. That's sterling. Sterling is a beautiful metal. Absolutely beautiful. These are just a few pieces that we have on hand that are available. We got an octopus. There's another look at that. The hard part, I was killing myself trying to get good pictures, and that's kind of why I'm doing the video, is because you can see that it reflects everything. So it's very hard to get a good picture that doesn't have the shadow of the phone or my face on it. There was a couple of those I had to delete. I would have done a face reveal. Showing off the letter opener. So guys, this is what he does when he's not melting and making all the pretty fire for us. Hours and hours and hours of prep work to get the pieces ready to work with. Hi Tessa, how are you tonight? Hey, Tessa. Hope everything is going well. Hi, Winky49. Thanks for joining us. We're just hanging out talking to the miner in the shop this evening. While he's uh, working on making some more materials for a project that he's doing. He's got, I don't know, three or four in the works at the moment. Did you want to show them where we're at on the hammer? Sure. I'm sure they would love to see it. He's going to show us one of the projects that he's been working on. It was a commissioned piece and it is so cool. I've actually only seen pictures because I had to work all day long today. So I haven't seen where he's at with it in person yet. While he's doing that, we're going to take another peek at the knife. It's 
that thing is so fun to hold. All right. I am so ready for this long weekend. I'm hoping that I end up with more than an hour or so at the end of the weekend to relax. I don't know, I got a bunch of work to do in the garden this weekend. So here is one of the latest projects he has on the bench that he's been working on. It's going to be inserted. That's what she said. He is building a Thor hammer. Right now I'm working on the strap. It's going to be a twisted uh, rope of 925 and brass cable wrist strap. This is copper with a brass wire impregnated into it. Very cool. It's pressed straight in. There's no solder involved. Oh no, corn dog! That's our ventilation system. It gets to about 120 out here in the afternoon. It takes a little while to cool it down. The ring well underway. Nice. So yeah, he's always busy here working on stuff. I'm going to show him the bracelet pieces that he has. He's just starting on this one. He's got some wire here. Some more parts and pieces. It's fun to watch it all come together, but it is definitely not fast. So many hours go into making the parts before you can even put them together. Well, and at some point this weekend we will be doing a pour. We're just not sure when that's going to happen yet. When the mood strikes us, we'll give you a heads up. Trying to keep jobs moving. I'm a poor man. Who dreams of a tractor? A tractor! Welcome, welcome! Right, everyone. Well, we just wanted to pop in and say hello and give everyone a chance. Hey, Madhouse! Welcome! We're not pouring right now. We will be this weekend at some point, but he is busy over there rolling away with the rolling machine. But we thought that we would give everybody a up-close peek at the knife that is now up for auction. And the bidding on that closes Monday at 4 o'clock Eastern. Oh, corn dog! Go get that sucker charged up. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Tablet's dead. Thanks for stopping, corn dog. So, what are you thinking? Like 20, 30 times per piece to get it down to the size you want? Hundreds. Hundreds. You can only roll it out just a little bit and then uh, you gotta anneal it, clean it, and then roll it out a little more. If you push it too fast, it gets cracked.
slow. If it's worth having, it's worth having a little bit. Well, then I guess we know what he's got planned for most of the weekend. Right, get this job's done. More coming in. The blade is two ounces. 64 grams. And it is seven inches long and about an inch wide. It fits real nice in your hand. Like I said, you can feel like a badass opening your letters with this letter opener. It reflects everything. It's so hard to get a true shot of how beautiful those colors are on the wrap that he did. So the wrap is 3.9. Try not to get that glare, guys. It is almost impossible. I kept polishing it, but I couldn't get the uh, shine to go away. You couldn't get the shine to go away no matter how much you polished? I tried. Yeah. I did everything the book said. <laughs> well, everyone, I think that's about all we had going on this evening. We just wanted to just pop in and say hello. Thank everyone that has served this wonderful country and uh, tell everyone to have a safe and fun weekend and we will be back at some point to uh, share some pours. He's just got a few hundred more times to do this before we are ready to pour again. <laughs> Happy Memorial Weekend, everyone. Therapeutic. And happy stacking. <laughs> I love y'all. Good night.